Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn about some technical optimizations you need to make to your product pages. The first thing to look at is the page load speed. You can fire up this page speed tool by Google here. I'll leave a link down in the description below. It's a tool by Google that grades your website based on the speed. I'll leave a link below, it's 100% free. It gives you a lot of recommendations you can make to your own store, your own site, to help you improve the page speed based on the code that Google looks at. This is also important for your SEO organic rankings too. I also recommend running your site through the Pingdom page speed tool as well. I'll leave a link to this below. This tool tests the actual page speed of your website and helps you find bottlenecks like images that are too large or scripts holding back the loading as well. Both of these are very useful for seeing how fast your website is and for finding areas of improvement. Why should you care about the load time of your site and your product pages? Well, every second that your page takes to load, it actually increases your bounce rate. People don't want to wait for your page to load and if it's taking too long, they're just going to click back and go to your competitor. Google knows this, so they also penalize you in the organic rankings if your page takes too long to load. Now, if you're using Shopify or the Shogun page builder to build out your product pages, you might be limited a little bit in how much you can actually optimize those pages. The good news is that with Shogun, they've actually got lazy loading built in. It basically means that when someone visits your product page, it only loads the first section of the page and loads the next bits as people scroll down. This makes the page load way faster when the user opens it up. So this will immediately help the page speed and help your conversion rates. Now, if you go through those two tools, Pingdom and the Google Page Speed tool, they're gonna give you a big list of recommendations that you can make to your site. Try to improve as much as you can, but I also recommend reaching out to a developer to help you actually improve your page speed as well. Try and find someone that has specialty in your platform. If you're using Shopify or WooCommerce or Magento, find someone that has experience improving the page speed of that platform. Ideally, try and get your page speed below three seconds. Two seconds is even better. One second or below is insanely amazing. The next thing you wanna do if you haven't already is to make sure Google Analytics is installed on your website. If you haven't set this up, I'll leave a link below to some videos that I made showing you how to set this up for your Shopify store. You really should be doing this as soon as possible because you need to be tracking that data of who is visiting your website. The last thing I recommend is adding the schema markup to your product pages. Schema markup is basically extra information about your products that search engines can read when they crawl your website. They use this to get more information about your products and to learn how to actually show your products on their search engine. You should make sure that you've set this up properly. It should contain the product's name, the color, the price, and a few other different fields. There are a lot of plugins out there that can help you do this really easily. I recommend checking out Schema Plus for SEO. I'll leave a link down below. That's it for the technical optimizations, guys. Hope this video was helpful. It's actually part of my product page mastery course. It's 100% free. It's a free course that shows you how to get higher conversions on your product pages. I walk you through all the different parts, step-by-step, 100% step, free. I'll leave a link down below. It's on my website. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.